Techno Update. Subscribe now. HTC Desire Eye Review Design The fun, vibrant plastic chassis of the Desire Eye might not be for everyone. A bright red strip runs along the edges of the otherwise white device, which has a smooth, matte finish. Above its 5.2-inch display is the big 13-megapixel camera and LED flash, while slots for nano SIM and microSD cards sit on its left side. The right edge houses the volume, power and camera shutter buttons. Display You'll enjoy looking at your pictures and watching videos on the Desire Eyes 5.2-inch, 1920x1080 pixel LCD, which uses IPS technology to provide wide viewing angles. Measuring 487 nits on our brightness meter, the eye outshine the 402 nit HTC One M8 and the 373 nit Samsung Galaxy S5. The eye's screen can display 98.3% of the sRGB color gamut, which is good, but this phone trailed competitors in color accuracy, based on a measurement called Delta E. The Desire Eyes Delta E score of 8, 0 is best, is notably worse than that of the M8, 5.6, and the Galaxy S5, 0 0.9. Performance It's not just the cameras that shine. The Desire Eyes 2.3 GHz quad core Snapdragon 801 processor with 2 GB of RAM offers zippy performance. The camera app started up quickly and I snapped shot after shot in rapid succession. I was able to return to the home screen almost instantly. The eye delivered better results than the average smartphone on benchmarks such as Geekbench 3. Its score of 2,834 is significantly higher than that of the 1M8 and the smartphone category average but a tad lower than the Galaxy S5 score. Battery Life you might find yourself having to find an outlet before it's time to hit the town for a night of selfie shooting. On our battery test, which involves continuous web surfing over 4G, the Desire Eye lasted 7 hours and 20 minutes. That's more than an hour less than the average smartphone, 8.30. The One M8, 8.42, and the Galaxy S5, 9.42, also lasted longer. After an evening of shooting photos and video, I turned the phone off when I wasn't shooting, the battery meter dropped from nearly full to slightly more than half. With the phone turned on all day without making any calls or sending messages and shooting for about an hour, I had to charge the eye once a day.